Good morning, kind King George, and welcome to week 12 of distance learning. Each and every one of our students, as well as your parents who have been so supportive, are absolutely commended for your efforts with learning and connecting during these unique times. Thank you for that. And now, let's get our week started on this glorious day with the ringing of the school bell. Let's also take an important moment to acknowledge that we are living and learning on the traditional territory of the Mississauga First Nation, for which we are very grateful for. And let's continue to keep prioritizing staying home and social distancing to help take care of ourselves and each other and to help keep everyone in our community and beyond as safe as possible. You're doing a great job. Last week, I was able to see many of your parents who came to collect your belongings from school and it was lovely to connect with them safely, of course, and to hear how all of you are doing. One thing I heard repeated many times was how much our students are missing their friends. And I want you to know people of all ages are missing their friends. We all need to do our best to reach out to each other, whether that's by phone, maybe a porch visit, a virtual play date, a social distance walk, an Edsby message, or even a letter. It is normal to feel lonely during these times when we are apart. But please know that everyone feels the same way you do, and we are still a King George school family, even if we aren't together at the moment. What are you going to do this week to reconnect with a friend or a family member or a teacher or maybe even your principal? Please take time to intentionally connect with someone you care about. Connections are important for all of us. One way that I've been able to stay connected with you is through these announcements. But also, when I ask you for, for you to send me the photos of what you're doing on our spirit days, this makes me feel connected with you. Last week brought me so much joy and a hungry belly to see students participating in what's cooking on Friday, School Spirit Day. I saw the LaDrews making homemade pizza, Lucas cooking grilled cheese, Kai making brownies, and Kaiden working through a whole ton of math connections as he put together a strawberry rhubarb crumble. So delicious. And cooking is just one of many life skills that we hope you're taking advantage of learning more about while you're at home. And this week's wrapping up the week school spirit day is going to be a bit of a fun drawing challenge for you all. I want you to try and create a book cover that describes this school year. Yes, that's right. You are all authors and I'd love to see what a book cover might look like if it were a book about how unique this school year has been. And it sure has been unique and different. I know that all of you can be creative and really anything goes for your book cover. So grab a piece of paper and start planning out what the title and the front cover of your book would be if you were to write a story about the experiences this year has brought you. Please send me a photo of your front covers. I check Edsby every day and I would love to see what you come up with. And now let's take a quick peek at our Action for Happiness Joyful June calendar. I mentioned earlier how important it is to stay connected. Well, this week we are asking you to bring some joy to people that you care about. Maybe you'll get in touch with someone you've been missing or maybe try surprising someone in your home with an act of kindness. Spread joy to others. And I bet that when you're doing that, you will also be bringing joy to yourself. And now, I bet you know what's coming next. We want to share some special birthday shout outs to Hope, Weston, Sarah, Maya, Lily, Kingston, and Delaney, who are all turning another year older this week. And we wish each of you a great celebration. Before we wrap up, I just want to encourage each of you, please keep the momentum going with distance learning. Summer will be here soon enough but our staff are still working hard and we thank you for working hard too. Keep learning because when we get back to school, you are gonna to want to be on top of as many things as you can. Also, with report cards coming home soon at the end of June, our teachers are looking to highlight some of your new knowledge and your demonstration of understandings from distance learning. So show us your best work. Keep going, everyone. You've got this. And that ends our weekly announcements. Stay home and stay safe as part of respecting yourselves, your families, your educators, and those frontline workers, some of whom live in your homes and who are working bravely to help keep our entire community safe. Have a fantastic week ahead of distance learning. And remember, 
please use kind words towards everyone, because we are, after all, kind King George.